and they're up in the twixt. Sharp start up there for May Lai and Moni Davis. Shimmer Gaspin in third of the inside. Then it's My Magician, an enterprising lady in between horses. Sweet on Smokey in Sweetgrass, allowing the speed to go on up front. Has dropped some dozen, maybe 13 off a of speed of Moni Davis a neck from May La, With Shimmer Gaspin the favorite, a tracking third, just a couple of lengths off the pace. Then My Magician, an enterprising lady. Sweet on Smokey's at the rail, only five from the front in Sweetgrass. 23 points. Point one seven on the track now rated good as they head into the far turn. That opening quarter mile of Moni Davis. Moni Davis from Mela by a half length with shimmering Aspen down inside in third. The outside is My Magician. My Magician trying to push on out in the clear. Then it's Sweet on Smokey, who's in fifth, still at the rail. Then Enterprising Lady and Sweet Grass ridden along, trying to pick it up from the back of the pack. The half went in 46.40, and Shimmering Aspen's going to have to come around them now. Shimmering Aspen taken wide outside and out to the lead. Up the rail comes Sweet on Smokey in between horses. Mela still battling on. Then Moni Davis in the last furlong. It's Shimmering Aspen. Shimmer. Aspen now opening up three, four lengths under Steve Hamilton in the Twix Stakes. She's shimmering Aspen, shining bright in the Twix to win by five. Mela was second, and then a sweet on Smokey, followed by Moni Davis and Sweetgrass, my magician and a prizing lady. And they're up in the twixt. Sharp start out there for May Lai and Moni Davis. Shimmer Gaspin in third of the inside. Then it's My Magician, an enterprising lady in between horses. Sweet on Smokey in Sweetgrass, allowing the speed to go on up front. Has dropped some dozen, maybe 13 off a of speed of Moni Davis a neck from May La. With Shimmer Gaspin the favorite, a tracking third, just a couple of lengths off the pace. Then My Magician, an enterprising lady. Sweet on Smokey's at the rail, only five from the front in Sweetgrass. 23.1. One seven on the track now rated good as they head into the far turn. That opening quarter mile of Moni Davis. Moni Davis from Mela by a half length with shimmering Aspen down inside in third. The outside is My Magician. My Magician trying to push on out in the clear. Then it's Sweet on Smokey, who's in fifth, still at the rail. Then Enterprising Lady and Sweet Grass ridden along, trying to pick it up from the back of the pack. The half went in 46.40, and Shimmering Aspen's going to have to come around them now. Shimmering Aspen taken wide outside and out to the lead. Up the rail comes Sweet on Smokey in between horses. Mela still battling on. Then Moni Davis in the last furlong. It's Shimmering Aspen. Shimmering. Aspen now opening up three, four lengths under Steve Hamilton in the Twix Stakes. She's shimmering Aspen, shining bright in the Twix to win by five. Mela was second, and then a sweet on Smokey, followed by Moni Davis and Sweetgrass, my magician and a prizing lady. Able LLC. Rodney Jenkins, the trainer. Steve Hamilton with two today. Three-year-old grape filly by Malibu Moon out of the Lionhearted Mare Aspen Glow. Bred in Kentucky by Nancy Tyrone, Ernest Fabuis, and Candyland Farm. Katie Boss making the presentation to the winning connection, Hillwood Stable, trainer Rodney Jenkins, Steve Hamilton. Shimmering, Shimmering Aspen now gets her second stakes win in a row here at Laura Park here with the winning connections. Rodney Jenkins, this is a nice filly. Your thoughts on her, you're commenting uh, before the picture how patient she was and how well she rated around that far turn. Your, your thoughts on the maturity you've seen from this filly. Well, I think Steve's done a great job of teaching her everything. You know, she likes the front end, but today when she broke and dropped back, she really wasn't pulling him that hard, and he knew he had to wait for a spot. She does everything pretty perfect. She's a smart filly, and he gave her a great ride. We, we are very lucky to have something like this. She's a nice filly. You guys have done a nice, patient job with her. Where do you think you might go next with Shimmering Aspen? I don't know. I guess the first thing I'm going to do is go home and go to bed and rest a while. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'll let you know as soon as I know. All right. Okay. Mrs. Charles, you and Rodney have had some nice horses over the years. Where's Shimmering Aspen rank among some of the nicest horses you've had? 
I think she's right at the top. She's wonderful. I mean, I've been very lucky to have some very nice horses, but she's quite remarkable. She's she's unusual. She's just such a professional and, and so much fun to watch. This is Ellen Charles of Hillwood Stable. Steve Hamilton now his second stakes win back after coming out of retirement. Nice ride. Your thoughts around the far turn. You were down there on the inside in a little bit of a tough spot. What were you thinking around the far turn? Well, she rided real nice today. She settled in and, um, you know, just waiting for a spot to open up to, to have somewhere to put her. Um, again, Mr. Jenkins does a great job with them and, uh, like, you know, appreciate them guys letting me be around and Miss Charles. Uh, but the filly, you can't take anything away from her. She's done everything we've asked. She runs on the front end, and, and she showed us today that she'll rate. She was very patient until I asked her. All right, Steve Hamilton, the winning ride for Hillwood Stables and Rodney Jenkins with a good-looking filly, Shimmering Aspen. Good track. In the 11th race, number one, Nichols Newmite is one over. Scratch four, Miss My People. Xavier Perez on the seven, Wilco's Golden Eye. We won 17. Scratch eight, Gen Tennessee. Then scratch 12 all the way down to 16. Break the mold, Fear the Fire, Cape Apache, Diamond Drive, and Major Anthem.